हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज क्लाउड्स एंड रेन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्लाउड फॉर्मेशन टाइप्स ऑफ क्लाउड्स एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग क्लाउड फॉर्मेशन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ रेन एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग रेनफॉल एंड टाइप्स ऑफ रेन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक Rain and clouds are fundamental aspects of Earth's weather and climate systems. They play a crucial role in the water cycle, impacting everything from agriculture to water resources. Now let's discuss about cloud formation. The formation of clouds is a complex process involving surface heating. The sun heats the Earth's surface, causing the air to warm and rise. Adiabatic cooling. As air rises, it expands and cools. Cool air holds less moisture. Condensation nuclei. Dust, salt, and other particles in the air act as surfaces for water vapor to condense upon. And saturation. When air reaches its dew point, saturation occurs, leading to cloud formation. Now moving on to types of clouds. Clouds categorized by their altitude, appearance, and weather implications. come in various forms high level clouds cirrus or ci thin wispy clouds formed at high altitudes indicators of fair weather can also signify approaching warmer fronts cirrostratus or cs transparent whitish cloud veils that cover the entire sky often protecting a halo effect around the sun or moon cirrocumulus small white patches often arranged in rows at high altitudes rarely brings precipitation but can indicate instability in the upper atmosphere mid level clouds autostratus gray or blue gray clouds usually covering the entire sky often precede rain or snowstorms altocumulus white or gray clouds typically appearing as layers or patches with a wave like structure can signal instability and potential thunderstorms low level clouds stratus uniform grayish cloud covering the sky resembling fog often it brings light rain or drizzle stratocumulus low lumpy clouds covering the sky in patches usually no significant rain but might bring light precipitation nimbostratus thick dark clouds covering the sky bringing continuous moderate to heavy rain or snow clouds with vertical development cumulus fluffy heaped clouds with flat bases In their more developed forms, cumulus congestus, they can bring showers. Cumulonimbus, large towering clouds with a characteristic anvil shape, associated with heavy rain, thunderstorms, and extreme weather conditions like hail or tornadoes. Environmental factors influencing cloud formation. Several environmental elements influence the formation and type of clouds: temperature and humidity. key factors determining cloud formation and type geographical location influences cloud patterns due to varying climatic conditions topography mountains and valleys can affect cloud formation through orographic lifting wind patterns direct the movement and formation of clouds now let's discuss about formation of rain rain formation involves several processes in the atmosphere evaporation Water from oceans, lakes and rivers turns into vapor and rises into the atmosphere. Condensation. Water vapor cools and condenses into tiny droplets forming clouds. Coalescence. Water droplets merge to form larger droplets. When they become too heavy, they fall as rain. And orographic lifting. Air is forced over higher ground, cools and condenses to form rain. Environmental factors influencing rainfall. Several environmental factors play a crucial role in the occurrence and distribution of rain. Temperature. Warmer temperatures can lead to more evaporation and consequently potentially more rain. Topography. Mountain ranges significantly influence rainfall patterns through orographic effects. Wind patterns. Prevailing winds can carry moist air over long distances affecting where rain falls. Ocean currents. they can influence climatic patterns and thus the distribution of rainfall in different regions now lastly let's discuss about types of rain rainfall can be categorized based on how it is formed and its characteristics 
convectional rain caused by the heating of the earth's surface leading to rising warm air that cools and condenses to form rain common in tropical regions orographic rain occurs when moist air is forced to rise over mountainous terrain leading to cooling and condensation it's prevalent on windward sides of mountains frontal rain happens when warm air meets cool air and the lighter warm air rises over the cool air leading to condensation associated with weather fronts where warm air is forced over cooler air resulting in condensation and precipitation acid rain rainfall that has been acidified by atmospheric pollutants it can harm ecosystems and man made structures contains higher levels of acidic components like sulfuric and nitric acids often due to industrial pollution cyclonic rainfall associated with cyclones where air spirals upwards cools and forms clouds and rain drizzle light rain with very small fine droplets often persistent and covering large areas torrential rain intense heavy rainfall for a short period often leading to flash floods intermittent rain rainfall that starts and stops at irregular intervals and freezing rain rain that freezes upon impact with the cold surface forming a layer of ice now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims based question which type of cloud is most likely to be associated with thunderstorms and heavy rain cirrus cumulonimbus stratus or nimbostratus and now main question discuss the impact of cloud cover on local weather patterns and the global climate system how do variations in cloud types and distribution influence atmospheric temperatures and precipitation cycles so that's all in today's episode stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching